the silent build-up to a super eruption of a volcano. This is by University of Geneva. It's estimated that about 5 to 10 volcanoes worldwide are capable of producing a super eruption that could catastrophically affect global climate. We have about 21 super volcanoes worldwide. One of these volcanoes hides below the waters of Lake Toba in Sumatra, Indonesia, and has caused two super eruptions in the last one million years. But when will the next one be? Will there be any warning signs? To answer these questions, an international team of geologists led from University of Geneva, UNEGI, Switzerland, and Peking University of China developed an analysis of the levels of uranium and lead in zircons. It's a mineral typically found in explosive volcanic eruptions to determine how long it took the volcano to prepare for its super eruptions. Unfortunately, these results published in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences refute the notion that unusual geologic signs would herald an imminent super eruption. Instead, the magma silently accumulated in the magma reservoir until these massive explosions occurred. The Toba volcano in Sumatra caused two of the largest eruptions known to the Earth. The first was 840,000 years ago, the second only 75,000 years ago. Each measured about 2,800 square kilometers, that's enough, uh, cubic kilometers, that's enough to blanket the whole of Switzerland with seven centimeters of ash and representing 70,000 times the amount of magma erupted thus far by the ongoing La Palma uh, volcano of the Canary Islands. Two other smaller eruptions took place 1.4 million years ago, the other 500,000 years ago. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. And this is the Lake Toba supervolcano, image from uh, University of Geneva. So, um, now geologists have uh, the Peking University and UNEGI are interested, of course, in the Lake Toba volcano because there's no historic record of human response to a super eruption of the size that it produced in the, part, the past. And such an event would affect the global climate as we know, giving us a volcanic winter, posing numerous problems, particularly in terms of food supply, not to mention the migration of populations. Toba volcano forms a cauldron, meaning that previous eruptions have created a large depression that's occupied today by meteoric water, meaning Luca Carici, professor of, uh, explains of the professor department of earth sciences at UNEGI, University of Geneva, faculty of science, co-author of the study. At the center of the lake is an island that raised from the water because of the push of the magma injected in the subvolcanic reservoir. And she said, we can see that this island is gradually increasing in height indicating that the volcano is active and that magma is accumulating underneath this. Says P. Ping Lui, professor of Faculty of Earth and Science, uh, Peking University, leading uh, author of the article. He says, but are we close to the next super eruption? That's the question. Measuring uranium and lead in zircon. Zircon is a mineral that's found in the products of explosive volcanic eruptions. One of its characteristics is that it takes uranium within its structure, explains Ping Ping Liu. Over time, the uranium decays into lead. So by measuring the amount of uranium and lead in zircon with a mass spectrometer, we can determine its age. Scientists determine the age of a large number of zircons extracted from the products of different eruptions, and the youngest zircon provides information on the date of the eruption and the older zircons reveal the history of magma accumulation preceding the super eruptions. The first super eruption occurred 840,000 years ago, after 1.4 million years of magma input, whereas the magma that fed the second super eruption at 75,000 years accumulated in only 600,000 years, notes Luca Carici. 
Why was the time of the magma accumulation halved even if the two super eruptions were the same size? This is linked to the progressive increase of the temperature of the continental crust in which Toba's magma reservoir is assembled, explained Ping Ping Liu. The input of magma has gradually heated the surrounding continental crust, which makes the magma cool slower. This is a vicious cycle of our eruptions. The more magma heats the crust, the slower the magma cools, and the faster the rate of magma accumulation becomes, she says. The result is that super eruptions can become more frequent in time. Okay, that's what she says. The result is that the super eruptions can become more frequent in time, estimating the rate of magma accumulation to anticipate the size of the next super eruption. This technique based on zircon geochronology can also be used to estimate the rate of magma input in a magma reservoir. Today we estimate that about 320 cubic kilograms of magma could be ready to erupt within the reservoir Toba volcano, says Luca Carici. If such an eruption would occur now, this would be a very catastrophic event that strongly affects not only the highly populated island of Sumatra, but also the global environment. Geologists have estimated that currently about four cubic kilometers of eruptible magma is accumulating within Toba's magma reservoir every thousand years, and that at this rate it was rather suitable, stable throughout its eruptive history. The next super eruption of the size of the last two would therefore take place in about 600,000 years, he says. This does not rule out that smaller eruptions could occur in the meantime. This innovative method can be applied to other volcanoes globally and could serve to identify which volcano is closest to a super eruption. This is a great advance because with few super eruptions in the last two million years, it is not possible for us to obtain statistically significant values for the frequency of these catastrophic events at a global scale, explains Ping Ping Liu, saying our study also shows that no extreme events occur before a super eruption. This suggests that signs of an impending super eruption, such as a significant increase in earthquakes or rapid ground uplift, might not be as obvious as pictured in disaster movies by the film industry. At Toba Volcano, everything is happening silently underground, and the analysis of the zircons now gives us an idea of what is to come, concludes Luca Carici. This was by University of Geneva at sunfish.org. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support. This is today's article.